Good morning, guys. My nose stuffy. Good morning, guys. It's Vlogmas Day Five. That's crazy. It's already day five. I'm gonna open my next day of my Advent sock calendar real quick because I'm really excited about it, actually. And also, I'm gonna wear these socks today. Since I like did it so late last night, I'm gonna just wear like the socks the next day. This one is a nice little picture of a hippogriff. It's so hard to do. It's like so hard, but then once you do it, it's like easy. I'm really excited to see what's in here. Ready? Oh, these are so cute. These are so cute. Wow, I really like these. Look. That is adorable. That kind of did match with the picture too. So it's kind of concerning, but it's all right, I guess. Like this one, the socks matched it exactly. This one just kind of had like a little bit of butts on it, but like also I didn't know, you know? But I realized that there's different size boxes. I don't know why I didn't realize that earlier, but these three are crew socks and then crew sock, crew sock, because those are like all bigger, you know? I'm gonna just make breakfast now and I finally get to make avocado toast, but I need to get some water really quick. <laughs> I'm so thirsty. I spilled a little bit too. It is really nice outside. It's like that weather where like you could wear like a hoodie and sweatpants or you could wear like a t-shirt and shorts and be like chilling, which I love that type of weather. Cause I just like wanna wear what I wanna wear, you know what I mean? Little powder should be good, but it's like a little hard still. So I'm still gonna use it. Do you guys like to see how I make this breakfast? I'm gonna show you anyway. All right, so first things first. Butter. I take a little bit of butter, put it in the pan. Like so, like that. I had to. And then, I wait for it to melt. I get two eggs. These are my favorite eggs. I don't know why. Um, I just really like them. Get two eggs. Get them out and prepared. Also, this is the bread I use. It's the Dave's Bread. White bread done right. It's really good. I'm gonna put it in the toaster now because it's frozen. Got a thaw a little bit. I don't know how long bread is like allowed to be in the freezer and you can still eat it, you know? But we'll see if I die today if this is still good. It should be good for like a month, right? First things first, I'm not really. Guys, let me show you my fucking avocado plant real quick. Look at that, it's doing great. Wow. It took so long for this to sprout, but then once it did, it shot up. So like, this is only over like three days. It just like shot up. I don't know when like the leaves start coming out or, or like, I don't even know if this is how it's supposed to look, but like she cute or whatever. All right, the butter is melted. We're gonna spread it around. I just like mix my eggs in the pan because it's easier. I don't waste another container to mix it in. Scramble them up a little bit. I used to like do fried eggs, which is really good, but I'm just doing scrambled with cheese on it because it's good and easy. Santa, tell me if you're really there. So make me fall in love again. It won't be here next year. Ariana Grande's Christmas music is my favorite. I'm gonna put the cheese on now. This is the bacon I use. This shit is so good. Is this a new package? Oh my god. Oh shit, my toast is crispy. Even Anthony likes this, and then he like he eats uh, regular bacon. I didn't like regular bacon. This is like it tastes like a perfect mix of turkey bacon and regular bacon. It literally tastes like the best parts of both of those. First step, cut the avocado. Sorry, I don't know why I say that. It's a small avocado. I think it's fully ripe. Right. It's too late. I used like the two ripe avocados we had last night for guac, so this will have to do today because I'm not waiting another day for avocado toast. Why do I call it that? I'm so sorry. I don't know what made me start calling it that, but. Then I take half of a lime, squeeze it on, mix it up a little bit. Then I take everything but the bagel seasoning. Oops. There we go. And the eggs are done. 
There's that, and then I'm just waiting for the bacon to finish. I burnt my bacon a little bit, so I don't know what happened. I literally was like sitting here on my phone and I was like, wait, I'm cooking. <laughs> I fucking forgot that I was making food for some reason. It is to be good, I hope. I'm sweating from cooking. I'm gonna sit here, my usual spot, eat my breakfast, and edit yesterday's video. I already did most of it, thankfully, last night, but I'm gonna finish it up and get it uploaded for today. It's a while later. I'm outside of Petsmart right now. I need to get more dog food. And I'm trying to lint roll my, my jacket because it's like full of fucking dog hair. But I fucking accidentally put my lint roller in water, so didn't want to be full of dog hair. Getting them more food and then I wanted to go to Ulta. There's an Ulta literally right next to it, which is great. I want to get some like colorful eyeliner to try to play with makeup more because I uh, really, I haven't seen pictures of people with like colorful eyeliner and colorful eyeshadow. And it just looks great. And I really would like to be that person, you know? Achilles, 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 Achilles. I'm like sweating from doing this much physical activity. It's just a wee bit hard. It's like do one side, right? And then like I'll be done with that side and that side's like good. And then I'll like go to the other side and then that side's good. And then I'll come back and look at the other side and then there's like hair on it again. I feel gross today. You have days where you just feel like not cute at all and you just don't want to like go out to public. Like I don't want anyone to see me right now. I just feel like nasty. It's like something's not working with the way I look. It's all right. We're going to get through this. Also, I'm wearing my new socks today. My legs are very hairy, but I just really wanted to wear biker shorts, so I'm just gonna pretend that they're not hairy at all. Let me write down what I need. I'm gonna go in. I'm not gonna vlog in there because I feel uncomfy. I also have to carry a fucking 60 pound bag. It's not even 60 pounds, though. it's 40 pounds, I think. I just had like the best Ulta trip. It was very successful. I'm gonna show you guys what I got really quick. Ulta haul. I got some good shit, and I'm like so excited about it. The first two things I got was what I went for. Got these NYX Epic Wear liner sticks, and I'm just gonna try these and see if they're any good. I needed a black liner, and I wanted to try pink. I wanted to get more colors, but they were eight dollars, and I wanted to make sure that they were actually good before I get like a bunch of colors. They had some good colors, and I really want to get a white one too, and like a green or blue that would be cute. Then I got this Sun Bum Mineral Moisturizing Sunscreen Lotion because I know you're supposed to use sunscreen every single day and I have not been doing that and I do not want to look old and crunchy when I'm 40 years old and have fucking skin issues because of the sun so I really want to wear this. This is 50 SPF. I was actually looking at the regular version of this and then I watched Hiram's video on like the best sunscreens of 2020 and this was on it and I was like let me just get the mineral and try it out and see how it is. I've tried this CeraVe, CeraVe sunscreen and that shit is horrible. I think I tried it in a video actually and it literally left like a white sheen across my face. It was so bad. But I've tried, I tried someone else's sun bum sunscreen like a while ago, like a long time ago. And I remember it being like really, really good and just like nice and luxurious. So I'm gonna try it out. And then the last two things I got, I'm so so excited about because I did not know Ulta had this and I was literally going through this like the skincare aisle and I was like I really wish they had the ordinary here but I don't think they do and then like I didn't see it and then I went to like the little section where they have like the small mini sizes of stuff and bitch they had the ordinary and I got two first I only saw the buffet one and I was like I don't really want that one I wanted the other ones but I was like maybe I'll get it and then I looked over I saw this which is the niacinamide and zinc serum which is like six dollars there was only two left and I scooped one real fast been wanting to try this and then i looked down and there's like one of these hidden down in the back literally one left all the way down and i was like i'm gonna scoop this it's a hyaluronic acid one and i'm real excited about this too it was seven dollars i've been like wanting to get the ordinary but i didn't want to order it online because like shipping and also it takes so long and i'm i just don't like ordering stuff online i just like it to be there when i even though it would get there eventually i, just, I don't know i was so happy when i saw this and it was the last one it was meant to be i'm ready for my skin to be amazing that's everything i got and then there's a whole a whole story and i went to check out and i had a, i look i always look at my email when i go to certain stores like ulta because they always have like discounts and i had a 20 percent off coupon in my email so i used that right total at the beginning was 47 dollars. i used the coupon it was 37 no the coup the price at the beginning was 46 use the coupon it was 37 i think and then she was like let me check your your account and then she was like you have nine dollars did you want to use that right now or save it and i was like um i will use that right now i will definitely be using that and 
So I only paid twenty seven dollars for all this stuff. That's pretty good if you ask me. That's like what I what I should be paying for. You know what I mean? Like I feel like that's what it's like worth. But that just made me really happy because like that was a great ultra trip got everything I wanted and more Okay, I'm gonna drive home now. I don't know what I'm gonna eat because it's already 538 and I'm like really hungry right now I thought I knew what to eat Does anyone else like put their foot on the brake even when they're just sitting here like as it's just a habit They're just like on the brake. I don't know if that's bad. But I like catch myself doing it. I'm like wait do that you're in park bitch you're in park i have the hardest time figuring out what to eat on a daily basis like honestly someone just choose for me because i don't fucking know people be like oh what do you want to eat i'm like sure i'm looking up food on yelp i have no signal over here for some reason where am i I also need to order Anthony's Christmas gifts. He sent me two things that he wanted and one of them I was already planning on getting for him. So, like, can you send me some options? That is so cute. And that's so cute. I literally feel like I'm like 80 years old because my back is literally giving out. I really want, I think this is the thing. I really want like a cheesy, Big Mouth has new, oh my God. When did season four of Big Mouth come out? Just now? Cause I have not even heard anything about it. Wow, that's surprising. I guess I could watch that if I want. Anyway, I'm in the mood for like a really cheesy, cheesy, cheesy romance type movie. Twilight is that type of shit for me. Why am I looking at stuff to watch right now when I'm literally not even home and I need to figure out what I want to eat first? My back is literally like glitching right now. Bitch, I'm so excited. Okay, one thing about me is I really like cartoons. I really like them. And if you're gonna judge me for that, don't know what to tell you, but I watched Hilda on Netflix and that that show is so good and it's so cute and just like the aesthetics of it are great. And season two is coming out December 14th on Netflix. <laughs> I'm so excited. I've been waiting like two years for this shit. That's like one of my top favorite cartoons. I think my my tops are Steven Universe. Maybe like Over Over the Garden Wall next, probably. I really love that fucking show. Then Hilda. Adventure Time's pretty good. Need to rewatch that. What else? I'm missing one. Rick and Morty's technically a cartoon, so you just add that. Okay, I'm gonna hang the shelf that I got up for my crystals really quick. The only reason I haven't hung it up yet is because I want to get like a bookshelf, like a, one of the Ikea, Ikea bookshelves. And I didn't know where to put it. I feel like it would be best in this corner over here, but my desk is there. So like, I don't wanna just get rid of my desk. And I was thinking of putting it in the living room, but maybe. I also was thinking of putting it over here in this corner, which could work if I just move the bed over a little bit more and then I could go for like a smaller nightstand on my side and then just have the bookshelf there which I think could work I don't want to like put it up and then have to move it I'm just gonna put it on this wall right here above my desk don't look at the mess I'm gonna have to clean that maybe that will be a vlog also this fucking box of books right here that I still have yet to unpack Yeah, this looks so cute. The way that perfectly fit all of them. This is how I have it set up. That's pretty cute. I like it. This is my crystal collection so far. I'm just worried about it falling, but I think it'll be fine. Because it's like, yeah, it's intact. It's intact. Get it? Tick, tick, tick. Okay, sorry. That was a good purchase. Maybe I'll do like a room cleaning slash decorating video. But I really want to put, I have some like posters and like just cute things that I want to put there. And maybe like up top. Too. And there's like a bunch of like things I want to order on like Etsy and Redbubble and shit and like postcards, art prints, everything and I just want to like cover the room with it because I think that would be so cute. So I'm really excited because I have so many ideas that I want to do but also where the funds for it, you know? If that ever falls, I will literally cry. It's never gonna fall. It's never gonna fall. That's it. Okay, so I just opened this eyeliner and like the tip broke off like literally instantly and I thought it was like a twist, but it's not twisting. If that, this was, this is what broke off. Literally the tiniest fucking, if that's all the eyeliner that is in this, because there's, I, that, that's it. Like that, there's no way to get more. That tiny little thing was supposed to be $8. I'm very confused. I'm gonna need to Google this because I'm in, uh, that can't be real. 
What? You're supposed to sharpen it? It's plastic. Am I dumb? Reviews though are saying it doesn't come with a lot of product. It's really hard to sharpen. All right, yeah, maybe you're turning this. I guess next time I need to look up the reviews because some of these ordinary, but oh my God, they're beautiful. Beautiful little bottles. I will be using this tonight on my skincare routine. They're really so cute. I need to get out of here. I'm hungry. 